Well, hello again. Today you find me near the village of Orton, which is just over there to the west, in what's now called the Westmoreland Dales. <laughs> and uh, that's between the Lake District, the Howgill Fells, which are behind me, and the Yorkshire Dales. Anyway, getting to the point, today I'm going to go and look at a stone circle and a Romano British settlement. It's not a very long walk, but a bit of interest in there. It looks like it could rain as well, hopefully it doesn't. Anyway, if you like the sound of that, come along. So this is uh, Gamelands Stone Circle, it's one of the largest in Cumbria and uh, all these stones are sharp granite which is just over there, that's where the sharp granite comes from, we're actually on limestone here and uh, there is one exception, there is one one stone which, which is a limestone slab. So this is uh, probably 3,000 years old. There is a swathe cut through it, basically where the camera stood. I would say there's maybe two, maybe three stones missing on either side and they think they were removed for ploughing. But the strange thing well, I think it's a strange thing. There's never been any excavation of uh, of this area here. Even the antiquarians didn't seem to do uh, too much trouble, too much damage. Behind me, we've got the edge of Aspie Scar. That's where we're going to go next. Bit of a pull up. I hope you've seen a bit of uh, Game Landstone Circle from the air. It's very, very windy, so it was constantly telling the drone to come back down. Anyway, we'll head off up past my scar. The Howgill Fells have got some nice light on them. Well, as I said earlier, we're in limestone country here, and this is one of the old lime kilns where they burnt the lime, put on the land. I think now the collar work starts straight up here. Well, the weather doesn't look too great on the Howgills now. Usual trackless nonsense to deal with. I don't think there's much more elevation to gain though. Right, well it's lunchtime. That wind wears you out. So after I had a bite to eat, I'll catch up with you as we set off over towards Castle Falls. Well there we have Castle Falls, the Romano British settlement. It rather looks like we've got some Romano Britons over there having the lunch.
Well, it's wild up here. So the next thing is death by Clinton Grike. <laughs> Well, if they didn't want people to creep up on them, this was quite a good place to be. So these low walls were built after the Romano-British settlement and uh, repurposed as a shielding. But this wall is part of the old Romano-British settlement. And the outside, as I'll show you in a minute, is made of upended bits of limestone off the scar the actual wall is about eight feet thick. Now, there are no loose bits of limestone in the centre, so my guess is it took it up from there, which meant they had a good flat surface and used it to build the walls with. Quite impressive. So here, you can see the upended stones, another one there, another one there. And these would have faced the inner and outer of the foot of the settlement walls. It is so windy, believe me. So as you can see behind me it's uh, it's built on a natural mound outcrop, call it what you will, in the limestone pavement. Who were they afraid of? As I say it's dated to Romano Britain. I suppose you've got to say you were probably frightened of the Brigantes. They'd be after the sheep or the cattle, no doubt. Maybe the wives and daughters. Anyway, that's Castle Falls. Castle Falls, Romano, British settlement. Right, well, I'm going to go back a slightly different way. And uh, so I'll see you on the way if I ever get out of this limestone boulder field. Well, I'd like to put the drone up there, but it just wouldn't have survived. It would either got blown away or crashed. I'm not going to do that. So, anyway, over here, we've got the edge of the Pennines, the North Pennines. Sunshine on the Eden Valley. Could do with some sunshine here. Well, I thought I'd come over to this trig point. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Although I think I've been here before. So, this is either not or Great Aspie Fell. I can't remember and the map doesn't enlighten me so without opening an app to tell me I can't remember. Still got the Pennines behind us. I'll let you see the Howgills in a minute. But I know this has been another non-Wainwright <laughs> non-Wainwright video although Wainwright did write a book which covered all these fells. He explored these when he explored the Howgills. And uh, for any lovers of solitude, other than the Romano Britons we saw earlier, this is a grand place to come. So on that point I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. 
and I'll see you next time.